Well, 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 ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I am the Pixel Voyager, and today we're blasting off into episode 38 of our modded Terraria series. And how's everybody doing? It's been a little while. Uh, so, been dealing with some personal issues. Uh, I posted in my discussion page about it a little bit. I have been tending to a very sick cat. Uh, and it's really cut into my recording time. I haven't been able to do much. I haven't been able to put out videos last week. So you'll have to bear with me. I'll, I'll be trying to catch up. I haven't played in a while. I haven't recorded in a while. So we're gonna, we're gonna go just have a good time, get back into the swing of things. Uh, so here we are. We are out at the dungeon. This is one of the good things about today's episode. It's gonna be pretty simple, pretty straightforward. We are going to fight the Lunatic Cultist, and everything that comes after that will be pretty rote and pretty on the rails. So I guess for a first episode back, we're going to at least have a little bit of an easy time. Uh, so we're going to take down these guys, and then we're going to take down their leader, and we'll see what happens. It's definitely buffing time. This guy can maybe be serious. I don't know. We'll find out. We're going to play around a little bit, see what weapons I want to use. We'll just have to, uh, you know, play with it for a little while, see what I can do. Uh, I can already tell I haven't played in a long time. My aim is terrible. And I am not going to stop that dragon from coming. I can't actually stop him from summoning this dragon, who is very much a nuisance. Uh, let's just go ahead and use the car key. We're gonna need to know. We're gonna need to be able to get around. I like the wings better. I get more mobility out of it, but, uh, this guy. Yeah, so he summons the after images there. That's him trying to summon the dragon. Uh, if, if I can identify which one he is versus his, uh, shadows or clones, I guess, uh, then I can just deal with that. Hit him. It breaks the summon. And uh, things get a little easier. He's colored a little differently. If you look very, very closely, you may be able to tell yourself. Uh, but he's wound up being pretty easy. Turns out my Atlantis weapon here is very, very good. It is my new favorite when I can get away with staying in this kind of range. Uh, and actually, one of the first things we're going to get... Ta-da! is the new crafting station that we have been looking for. Uh, star spawned horror tunnels through the astral infection. Okay, well. Actually, I guess that works out well, because I was thinking about looking at, what's his name down here, Astrum Deus, but uh, turns out I probably couldn't have done that until I beat the Lunatic Cultist anyways, because we got a little tooltip message about it. Ooh, okay. Alright, I like it. New weapon, right out of the gate. Very good. Uh, the Ancient Manipulator is specifically what we were hunting there. Anything else I get is fine. Ancient Flame, Ancient Frost, I'm sure those are... No, they're not even materials. They literally just replicate his attacks. Oh, these are really cool, though. I don't know that they're going to be particularly practical for us to use, but they're really fun. And this Eidolon staff, on the other hand, this thing, yeah, that I'll probably use. Alright, so last episode, we spent the entire episode, basically as a side quest, uh, gathering all the materials we needed for the Heart of the Elements. And now is the time. And look at that tooltip. I am not going to read it all out. If you want to read it, uh, pause, and you can see exactly what it does. But it does so many things. But more specifically for us, I need to get that checklist out of there too. And that mini-map. I can keep leaving that mini-map up, and I'm sorry. Uh, hey, look at that. We're still using our ocean heart. So check that out. Uh, you are familiar with one of these. This is our sprayer sand elemental. She gives us our healing orbs. But uh, now I got a whole entourage. Yeah, when I read this tooltip, I said, I cannot not craft that. So, yeah, I stalled my progress a little bit just to, uh, just to get all the ingredients for this. Look at this thing. Look at them all. 
and they are going to shred things and people for me. Um, yeah. And actually what I can do, if I come over here, all of the uh, accessories I'm wearing are visible. So you can see if I click that button, now I'm not wearing the wings, now I'm wearing the wings, now I'm not wearing the wings. Uh, and apparently if I turn these guys off by hiding them, uh, I actually get better stat buffs out of it. So for what I'm doing, running around fighting bosses, things like that, uh, I can probably just leave it hidden. Because uh, I think these guys are probably going to wreck my DPS. But, uh, if I'm doing things like fishing, such, things like that, then they are going to pretty much take care of things for me. Alright, so we're just going to have our party out here for a little while. Uh, and I'm going to pull up my map. The full map. Haven't seen this for a little while. But, if we look, there are now several icons on our world. Right here, the nebula pillar. Right here, the solar pillar. And on the other side of the world, we'll have a Stardust Pillar and a Vortex Pillar here. That's actually a really nice placement right in my arena. Uh, so these are the Celestial Towers. I have to destroy them. Uh, and once I do that, we'll be through that event. Uh, they will drop other items that will be very, very useful upgrades for us. So I am uh, excited and ready to get started. We're going to go this way. I'm going to start with the Nebula Pillar, specifically because uh, each one is themed around a different kind of class or category of playstyles. And the Nebula Pillar is the Mage style. And you hear the music change, you will see the background change, and many, many, many terrifying things will now be running at us. Now in this, because it's, the way these work is once I'm in range of the uh, tower, which I should be, well, oh, uh, it's not 1.4 yet, so I don't actually get to see its health bar. Uh, but the, the way, I, well, to destroy the tower here, I have to break its shield. And the only way to break its shield is actually to destroy enemies from the event. So that's pretty much the whole gist of these celestial, these tower events, is you are really just working to grind out as many of these foes as you can. Uh, this is probably, I'm going to keep trying to dodge these tornadoes, but they are my tornadoes now. So that's why I have all of my buddies out, because if this is a kind of a horde event, then, well, they're going to help me cull the herd. But as you can see already, I am taking some hits. I am actually collecting some nebula fragments too, though, so that's good. Uh, the ne nebula fragments are kind of what I'm here for. They are going to be my crafting ingredients. So if I see them, I'm going to try and run grab them. Uh, this may be a Tears of Heaven situation, if I'm being totally honest. Oh, also some, what was that, a meld blob? Some other drop I'm getting here. Yeah, meld blob it looks like. Alright, you hear the pulse, you see the pulse on the edge of the screen, that means the tower here is exposed. So, now, all I will need to do is, well, kill it. The Atlantis does that work very quickly, very well. Uh, I also got some other new items I am not familiar with. We will finish off the rest of the rabble here and we will calm things down a little. Ah, so the Shooting Star and White Dwarf fragments are, and Celestial fragments, are for the extra classes that we get through the mod. Uh, so that's cool. Meld Constructs. And Nebula Fragments. Alright, so we're going to pick up the two vanilla weapons. The Nebula Blaze and the Nebula Arcanum. Once I do that, I'm going to look and see how many of these things I have left. Alright, so with those, uh, one other thing I did want to grab. I saw it, and I just can't not craft it because of the name. Uh, the tele... what is it? Teleologic Imposition. There it is. Yeah, I definitely want that. Uh, just because, what a name. Who knows what it does, but it's probably better than some of the things we've been using. We're going to cycle through probably a lot of weapons. Ha, ah, look at that. How long do we think that lasts? 
that apparently lasts a long time. So kind of like my Wrath of the Ancients, it, uh, it's just going to hang out. That is really cool. I'm glad I crafted that. Cosmic Rainbow. That's it. There we go. I mean, okay. That's fine. I'm going to have a lot of lingering items. Because that's going to linger. That's going to linger. These idling balls are going to linger. I don't even know what to replace. I have so many options. So many good options. I am not getting rid of Everglade Spray. I really like Atlantis, but it may be time to give that the axe. I'm going to hang on to it. Uh, Tears I will definitely ditch, but Forbidden Sun is also just too good. And the Arcanum? I think I might hang on to that and not use it. It fires a giant orb like that. It, Yeah, I mean, it's, it's fun. It's exciting. It's not what I need right now. Uh, it will craft into something else later, though. Guaranteed. So let's ditch all of the things we don't want to use. Uh, and I honestly don't recall if you guys have seen the Gatling laser or not. It is one of the Drayden weapons. Uh, but this thing is ridiculous. It's so much fun. Uh, I'm probably going to continue using it. Uh, actually, I turned these guys off. I'm going to turn them back on. But yeah, this thing, it's super fast DPS. It is accurate enough for what we're doing. Uh, but in the meantime, on to the next round. So this is the Stardust Pillar. The Stardust Pillar is specifically designed for crafting summoning weapons. But I will need its fragments for many other things. So, okay, that's, that's good homing. I don't know if this is really the damage I want, though. Uh, let's let's do this. Where's my cursor? That'll do. We're gonna hit him with the imposition. We're gonna hit him with the rainbow. And anything that comes into this area is going to have a very bad time. And I can almost just stand here. Okay, not not as much as I thought, but almost. Look at it go, shreds. The only problem I have is I have to be uh, very, very careful with its uh, mana usage. It does have a little... Ooh, I died. And I dropped one platinum, but that'll be fine. All right, I am coming up on the pillar. I can hear the music, but I don't see it yet. Here we go. So, yeah, the big key to this one is staying on the ground. Uh, but that obviously proves rather difficult when all of these things that are also on the ground want to murder me so aggressively. Yeah, that's the one, the Crawltipede there. And I am going to die. I am going to die a horrible, horrible death very, very soon. Yeah. So this one, you're probably going to see a good bit of that. All right, here we go. I uh, also had the realization that I'm trying to stand here and throw vanilla weapons at these guys, and that's really dumb. I need to come over here and uh, use some of the nice new things that I have gotten that are going to do way more damage. Yeah, that's much better. Like I say, these crawlipedes are the main threat. I, well, I guess actually they're all kind of the main threat, aren't they? Let's just try and hold them off right here. We'll be looking for that pulse. We'll be looking for the shimmering light to come from the edge of the screen to let us know that the pillar itself is vulnerable. Let's get more imposition. Let's get more rainbows. And uh, let's not die, shall we? I think I might die. Well, died again. Okay. Start making our way inside here. See if I can find the pillar. And yes, the shield is down. So we just need to take it out. 
luckily, just the thing for that. Unless I am out of mana. Alright, back at the house, got everything deposited, and we are by off to the left-hand side of the world now, where we will face the Vortex Pillar. The final pillar, it will be themed around ranged weapons and armor and enemies. Uh, I don't think I'll have much of a problem. This is going to be another one where I am going to hop in my cosmic car and just uh, flit about freely through the skies. Once that's done, then the real test begins and we will have our Moon Lord fight. The final boss of Vanilla Terraria coming up very, very soon. Now, I have made no preparations for this Moon Lord fight, so I don't know what to expect. I wonder if I might just crush the guy. Uh, and if that's the case, then excellent. We are into the very endiest end game of the mod. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be an exciting time. I suspect it's not even close to done because I'm going to have to grind these bosses so hard. Uh, that's my guess, at least. Whether or not that is the case, we will see. But, at the very least, there is still a lot of power creep to be had. But, right now, back into one of those phases where I'm feeling quite powerful again. But once again, that's probably largely due to the fact that these are vanilla enemies against modded weaponry, and they can't even. And you know what? With all these guys running on the ground like that, why don't I hit them with a little bit of this? Where'd they go? You love it. All right, pillar exposed, Gatling laser applied liberally, and we're done. All right, that is not me flying. That's a debuff the Vortex enemies can inflict. Uh, I am just going to take a moment. I'm going to collect. Uh, now, the Moon Lord will spawn automatically very soon. Um, but, I, like I say, I'm, I'm not really going into this fight with expectations of giving it my all. Uh, I will try my hardest to win, but I'm not making any of the necessary preparations or things that I would normally want to do. Uh, and I do want to go back to the house and get, to get all of this deposited first. I hear the music fading out. That is a sure sign that things are about to get pretty crazy. Uh, look at my, well, actually, the very fabric of reality itself, as the game would probably want me to put it, is uh, trembling. And should be any moment now. Here he is, the Moon Lord. So, two phases to this fight. The first phase, I have to target the eyeballs in each hand while fleeing for my life. Uh, the eyes open and close, and uh, and that third eye in his head will need to be destroyed too. Uh, but obviously, in between each of those, we have to deal with a deadly death laser, uh, and that death laser is really, really, really the focus. And Gatling laser is excellent. Anytime I see that come out, I have to dodge. I have to avoid that at all costs. Otherwise, I am very dead very fast. And there we have it. Basically what I expected. So, no worries. We're not upset about it. We're not mad about it. Uh, I mostly just can't do anything with the ingredients until I have the time to sort through them and look through them. So, uh, he was just going to do what he was going to do. But there, your introduction to the Moon Lord. There are some very easy ways I can deal with him. Uh, some of his problems. Uh, running back out here just to grab my cash. Alright, I have regathered all of the components that seem to be relevant to what we are trying to do here. Uh, so I'm going to check with Guide Man here and see what he can teach me. So this is going to take a little while, but I will be back with you with all sorts of fun new goodies. 
Okay, so not as much as I would have hoped. Um, uh, there was one more I wanted with the meld constructs. What was it called? It was a tome of some kind. Uh, tome of Fates. That's the one. Cosmic Tentacles. I assume it's going to be like the Eldritch Tome we used some time ago. Uh, but I just need a Spell Tome. Spell Tome's easy. I can just buy that straight off of the wizard. Uh, so I will pick up at least one new magic weapon. Uh, I feel like I owe it to myself to get at least one new magic weapon. Uh, a little disappointed. But the other big thing I can get is the... Uh, I can finally upgrade my healing potions. I don't know how many more of those I'm going to need. But I'm going to grab a few spares. Uh, the super healing potions will heal me for 200 instead of 150. And that will make a huge difference. Yeah, here we are. Tome of Fates. Uh, so apparently the Brimstone one, the red one, is going to do more damage than the others. But pretty good melee-ish type weapon. It's good to have a nice blend of these things. Alright, so with all of that being done, uh, before we actually get into fighting the Moon Lord again, uh, it looks like I will need to go through and fight the Moon Lord again quicker than I thought. Uh, we're going to grab some of these Titan Hearts. These Titan Hearts are the summons for Astrum Deus. And I suspect that is something that I will need to fight at night, which is coming up soon. Alright, here we are. Let's see. The God of Stars rejects your offering only performed at night. Alright, well at least it gives me the tooltip. Ta-da! It's night. Buff. Use and let's see what happens here. Let's go ahead and get the imposition up. Let's go ahead and get the rainbow up. Okay, we have a worm, a giant worm, and the giant worm is taking no damage. Why is that? Well, now he is, and now I'm almost dead. Okay. Okay, we're being laser fired. We're trapped. Let's get out of here. Scary stuff, and I got distracted, and I didn't craft my upgraded healing potions, which I really should have done, and I really should have brought this through, and I really should have done a lot of things that I didn't do, so we died. And that's okay. Uh, Gatling laser? Maybe. Maybe. As with any new boss, we're just going to figure him out as we go. I have 23 Titan Heart remaining, so not worried about that. Alright, so let's check this out one more time. And I'm going to check this out with uh, our oldie but goodie Forbidden Sun. Uh, worm type enemy, large explosive damage. I, I like my prospects with that weapon. Yeah, biggest thing is going to be, let's not get caught up in his loop. Let's leave ourselves plenty of room to maneuver. Where's he gone? There he is. Uh, this is doing very, very little damage. Nice, big, long ticks, but... Critting for 22 is not what I really want to see. This feels more like it. Uh, so yeah, I think that's what we're going to go with. Uh, I do want to not get caught in his body again. Uh, we're going to throw down the own imposition. We're going to throw down a rainbow. And yeah, we're going to give him the old Gatling laser. I don't even really have to aim. I just have to click my mana potions here every couple of seconds. And I think we'll be fine. Apparently these laser beams do give out after a little while, so they do have a limited range. In fact, 
quite a limited range, it would seem. Other than that, we're just dodging lasers, man. Not a big deal. This is actually not too bad. Careful, careful, keep an eye out. Just short bursts to see if he is in range for some damage. And then we can wail. Where'd he go? Okay, we got a phase two. We got a phase two. Oh, it's two worms now. All right. I am guessing that means double the lasers, double the fun. Oh, and these things are tanky too. It's not going to be anywhere near enough damage, is it? Okay. Alright, this is going to be a long fight. I suspect he may be spawned before I get a chance to kill him. Or I will die. Also distinctly possible. Yeah, morning hit. Okay. Well, we have a couple evenings of fun and excitement left for us here, so. But in the meantime, I think uh, the solar events, the Moon Lord, and a couple attempts at a new and exciting boss. Probably as good a place as any to go ahead and wrap it up for episode 39, 38. I don't remember. It's been so long. But I do appreciate everyone being here. I appreciate everybody's patience while I had a little bit of an unintended hiatus. But we are back. I will be, should be back on schedule at this point. So we'll catch everybody in the next one. If you enjoyed the video, uh, yeah, go ahead and leave me a like. That thumbs up going to help me grow my channel. If you have anything you'd like to say to me in particular, go ahead and leave a comment below. And if you want to catch more of my content going forward, go ahead and hit the big old subscribe button. As always, I do appreciate it. Everyone have a good day.